you should always run everything with the yellow wire. No, you're an idiot. You should run everything with the white wire. No, you're an idiot. What the heck is the difference? There is a very important difference. The yellow wire is thicker than the white wire. The gauge size is 12 gauge American wiring. That means that the copper wires are thicker. So with the yellow wiring being size 12 and the white wire being size 14, I know it's weird with electrical wiring, the lower the number, the thicker the wire, and the higher the number, the thinner the wire. Doesn't make sense to me either. Your yellow wire being thicker and significantly more expensive is required with 20 amp circuits because if you went thinner than that, it could be a safety issue with too many amperage running through the thinner wire. So yellow, thicker, more expensive 12 gauge wiring is required in 20 amp circuits. Now, most residential wiring, at least in my part of the country, is 14 gauge wiring on 15 amp circuits all day long, almost everywhere, general purpose lighting, general purpose outlets. Um, you're gonna get thicker 20 amp circuits in your kitchens, maybe garages, that's up to you. I once heard a guy tell me that he said the thicker yellow wiring is all he would run throughout his entire house, even with 15 amp circuits. That seems wasteful to me. That's a lot of extra copper material. He thought he would get more power, get this, more power to his electrical tools and stuff. The amperage pulled through the wiring will be maxed out at the load. So the size of your appliance, the size of your tools, that'll determine how much power amperage or ultimately electrons are going through the wiring. So the load will actually determine how much power is coming through. The total amperage on your circuit breakers, all these are is a maximum. If your circuit hits the maximum, say of 15, or of 20, it will turn off trip, turn off the circuit, protecting the wiring. It's turning off the power to protect the wiring from overheating, causing a fire, causing damage. It's not designed to react quickly enough to protect you, the user, from a shock. That's grounding and that's GFIs and there's other safety devices for that. General circuit breakers are going to protect the wiring in your house. That's why it's important to use the correct size wiring. So the yellow 12 gauge wiring is significantly more expensive than the thinner white stuff. So only use it where a 20 amp circuit is required in your house. The thinner white wiring, use that where 15 amp circuits are required. So that's your general circuits. Now another tip for safety while we're at it, don't mix different kinds of wiring in the same electrical box. So say you're switching out a light switch outlet, something like that, and you notice back there you have, can you see that? You have yellow wiring. That's likely an indication you're on a 20 amp circuit. So if you come in and put an extension on that because you want another outlet on the same circuit and you mix a 14 thinner wire in the same box, that's a violation and that's a safety problem. You could have too much amperage on that circuit. So don't mix the colors. Keep your yellow wiring with your yellow wiring and your white wiring with your white wiring. Hopefully this is a good introductory lesson on the thicker wiring versus the thinner wiring. This is for residential wiring. Let me know in the comments down below if you would include any other tips and tricks. I appreciate it. My name is Larry. I've been a licensed builder for over 24 years. Hey, I know you can do this yourself.